Okay, guys, I'm returning finally to Lethal Weapon. This is episode three. It's titled Best Buds. I've got several episodes ahead of me. It's been very slow going with this, but I'm looking forward to getting back into it. I'm, I would like to check out the entire episode, but to be honest, I'm really, I'm just so beat. There's just a lot going on and I'm physically and mentally tired but I will do my best to get through the entire thing. But if I, if I feel like I'm just kind of petering out uh, before it's over, I will, I will just watch it in multiple sessions. So here we go. Let's jump into it now. I'm more looking to zone out the Kardashians after my kid goes to bed, but I don't want the munchies. Totes. You want weed thins. Hunger suppressing, indica high. They're gonna be a ice. Figured. The mail is simply the nearest food source around. When we return. Of course, this would be like the last thing he wants to see. Hey, Elvis. Duty calls. Worse. Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was on my way. You said I'll meet you there. Yes, there. At the office. Well, there means the crime scene. <laughs> Maybe in Texas, not in L.A. Bailey, tell him what there means here. There where? Here. What? If I say, Bailey, meet me there, where do you Who's go? Who's on first? Oh. There. And that's where? Here. Okay, that's great. I'm glad you guys cleared that up for me. Good. Take it easy there. Oh, there. Don't confuse the man, Raj. <laughs> My new partner, Mr. Delightful. Look at me. I feel like I think I'm full. I hate to break it to you, but you've is never... This, is this... Um, is this Buffalo Bill? That looks and sounds like him. But he's got such a full beard, I'm, I'm not 100%. Okay. I think that's what his name was in Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. Been much to look at, Ned. <laughs> you too. See if that's buddy him, he's going to show Ned's up again. Downtown. I'll send you Maybe he's address. involved. Okay, we're on our way. In this whole thing. Confidentiality is extremely important to my business, gentlemen. I have a feeling she's going to say it. I'll need you both to be discreet. Oh, we're very discreet. I mean, me so more than him, but, you know, him too. <laughs> Good choice. She's like, yeah, no. The doors just wide open. Oh, okay. Try to remember that we're partners. You two are partners? That is great. How long have you been together? No, it's not. How long has it been, Raj? You know, I feel just like yesterday. I saw from across a crowded room. We were at Sadie Hawkins dance, and neither of us had a date. Excuse me. We'll get to it. But first, I need to ask, do either of you have a brother named Ronnie? Does everyone here have a valid medical marijuana license? We're all good in there. Did you just... No, no. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm banished. Mm -hmm. I bet he is. <laughs> you know that what this kind of reminds me of a little bit is there was this news video. Now, I've heard some people say it was fake, but I don't know. It was pretty convincing if it, if it, if it was fake. But it was... I'll try to remember to list it or, I mean, uh, put it down in the description. But it was a, a news clip of this, them interviewing this, this firefighter who had, it was like, um, someplace was on fire, but there was a bunch of pot in there. And the, when they we went to talk to the firefighter, he was high as a kite and he, it was really funny. I can't do it as, as funny as he did. So I'll just... I'll just put the video down there if I remember. I hope I do. But, and I really hope that it's real. I hope it was not, I hope it was not fake because it was so freaking funny. Okay, that was a tangent. But that's what that reminded me of. Protocols in place for an officer who tests positive for drugs he ingested while in the line of duty. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, just want to make sure nobody gets in trouble, you know. Well, in that case... What? No. I mean, you know, I drink a little. 
you know, very occasionally. Uh, social functions, <laughs> holiday parties and the like. Terrible liar. Sarah died of ovarian cancer six months ago. I had a feeling he was going to say something. Like oh, God, no. Babs, badass breakfast sandwich. Roger <laughs> used to bring me one every Friday. You know, for being new partners, you guys are pretty good together. Mm -hmm. LAPD, hello! I'm, I'm a little clueless as to what, what they, hello? they figured this thing. Do they just keep their doors open the whole time? They just walked right in, pretty much. Thunder potheads. Mm. Months ago. Probably Cancer. fell asleep on their date. He said he wanted to spend time with her once he retired. I don't want to be Ned. Date night. Tonight. What are you doing here? What? I'm here. Why? Here <laughs> oh, is there. No, no, no. There <laughs> is the office. Here is my house. We meet there and then we drive together. Pulled over a speeder. Trish? Yeah. What'd you do, wave the ticket and uh, get her number? Hell no. I wrote the ticket. She showed up at traffic court. She contested it, kicked my ass. Mm -hmm. And then I got the number. Just one good traffic? No, please, elaborate. I mean, I, you know, I'm just saying I don't want to take it for granted because these things can just disappear at any moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I, you know, I won't. Look, it's OK. Hey, you know, I was thinking we should talk to gang unit about decapitation. Whoa. Decapitation can be very disturbing. You might be onto something. You know, I, I can't do this. I can't I can't talk to you while you're eating like that. Hmm. Hey, look. The cartels are active in LA. They're growing a pair. I used to roll with the locals. What in the heck? Why is, is it up. why is that happening? But I hear they're outsourcing to local gangs. Because here's the deal, Cruz. That's the second we have two headless bodies not before. in Mexico, in LA. Baker? Yeah. Might want to stay away from these things. Okay. You think? I know a sick banger who tortures people with a cattle prod. He's gonna be threatened. Thanks, Paco. Paco! Not smart, Riggs, not smart. There is just two of you? No, we got backup coming. Yep, just the two of us. Me and my partner, drove here together and everything. Guys, <laughs> <Boy. laughs> here's this. Ah! Ah! Yeah, don't do damage. Jesus, son. Oh, yeah. Double life sentence in San Quentin. Estás muerto, wey. Paco. Come on now, is that any way to talk to an industry colleague? Mucho gracias, amigo. Jason and a sociopath with a penchant for machetes and cattle prods. So much for legalization lowering the crime rate. Mm. Is Paco talking? Looks like the truck's still out there. Saddle up, big guy. We got work to do. He took a cattle prod for you? Yeah. I wouldn't have done that for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> From what I see, it doesn't look like any of your days mm -hmm. are great ones. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Okay. Beautiful. Let's see if he stays awake. Well, thank you, honey. You haven't changed. Oh, I'm think. sorry. I wanted to. Did I really look that good when you stopped me? Why do you think I pulled you up in the first place? <laughs> hey, so I, I jotted some stuff down. It's, <laughs> it's a rough draft, and I'm still working on okay. some transitions. But <laughs> we are on a journey, floating on a raft through a river of love. Ooh. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're on a river. Love. And our children are the life preservers. And you and... Oh, that's Ned. I'll tell the a waiter that we're leaving. Oh, no, no. You're leaving. I have a bottle of wine and a babysitter. I respect that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our job comes with a territory. Who is it? Roger. <laughs> Let's talk. But I got the sandwich I promised you. 
What the hell are you talking about? A godmother was the worst. This cop bringing you room service? <laughs> I don't know this guy. I don't know nothing about a sandwich. Come on, man. Paco! Right, it's gonna be brand muffins to keep you regular. <laughs> Look, I zapped those pots. I figured you might as well take wait, me in. Wait, Better wait. you than the... I think he's telling a story. He's talking about the guys that were beheaded, but they apparently did not know. So... I'm feeling like this is ending up exactly how I predicted, that he was actually involved in it. Let's see. So we'll find out. I screwed up. I figured you might as well take me in better you than the cartel. Oh, no, I might be wrong. He's talking about somebody else. LAPD. Okay, my plan is driving this to some beach somewhere and settling down like Bush and Sunday. And suddenly, do you know that? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need that money back. Okay. All right. Okay, so no, I guess he's he he wasn't involved in the robbery. What, why am I putting my seatbelt on? What, why are you putting on your seatbelt? Gonna go ramming through. I thought the front popped off of that thing. Oh boy. There it goes. People gonna be happy in the street? <laughs> I'm trying to shoot here. I'm sorry, sir, but did you not see that the seatbelt light is illuminated? Mm. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh. Oh, Lord. Units, shots fired. Armored truck crashed into multiple vehicles, then overturned. Heavily armed suspects approaching. Requesting immediate backup. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, they're going to kill us anyway, Raj. You know, you're a terrible person in a foxhole. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But, so what's your plan again? That, that, that was my this plan. area here reminds me of a location in Terminator 3. Ned Brower. Any ideas where he might be? He's, he's like he disappeared. Yes, yeah, like a demon. He's gone. The two of you agreeing with each other? Mm. Now that's scary. Right. If I was your daddy. Ain't a man on earth to be good enough for my baby girl. You're most definitely not my father. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Sorry, baby. Not tonight. Can't do it. Don't look out the window and see him. <laughs> you don't pull her over. License and registration, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Murta, you don't get that flashlight out of my eyes. <laughs> what, you want another ass lifting in traffic court? This is the best date night ever. Mm. It's just begun. I prepared some words. Honey. No. Okay, well, I made it through the whole thing, but honestly, I feel a, a little drained, so I don't feel... Um, Like, I felt as animated about this as I did the first two. And probably part of it is because it's, oof, <laughs> yeah, it's almost 1.30 in the morning. So, and I went into this tired, but I'm still liking it. I mean, some of the humor is is kind of, um, it's, it's kind of getting a little cliche. Like, and it, it's sort of, they're following a typical formula, right? They're not really surprising you too much as far as the, the, the banter between them. I mean, it's cute. It's funny, but I, I'm, I'm used to it now. So it's, it's not completely unexpected or as hilarious as it was in the beginning, but that might also just be because I'm, I'm kind of tired and I don't, really feel like I have anything else to add to this other than the the little bit that I've I said as I was watching 
as I was watching it. So this was episode three. I do not know when I'll pick up with episode four, just because life is so crazy right now. And I'm doing things like interviews for the channel. And, and th those are um, videos that take me a little bit, you know, more time to work on. And so I don't know. I really, I really just need to make a schedule for myself, but it's been difficult to, as far as for stuff like this, but it's been difficult to do that because of how just everything going on in my offline life, just the stuff around here, the distraction with, with Dora and her imminent passing. And so it's just, I'm feeling a little bit tired if you can't tell. Anyway, but this is still fun. And maybe when things kind of settle down, I can get to a more actual schedule for this. But um, we'll see. I can't make any promises, but that's just an aim that I've got. But anyway, I, because I don't have anything that's, that there's nothing else sparking in my brain. I'm not going to just sit here and just yammer for the sake of it. So I know it seems like that's probably what I do because I do talk so much, but that's because there's actually stuff coming to me when I'm talking. When I don't have anything else that's in my brain at the moment, uh, that's when I know it's time to call it quits. And that is the moment that I have reached. So that's what I'm going to do now, you guys. Later. Later.